I did that on purpose. It's fighting again. It's like an all that bro right now. <laughs> I just like how you just switch in like a bloody freaking vulture. Yeah, we might have been playing like what? Uh, flower collection simulator. <laughs> William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans, determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back. Establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep.
Oh, hello, it's Biker. Look at that. Look at that alien booty. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit lumpy, but yeah. You know, yeah.
Did you see what I just did? Just load, load him and then slap him across the face twice and punch him out. Sicker.
No 2020 has been a bad year, but there's no need for this. Come on. You're better than that. Surely you can. Surely you've got better things to do than your head in the wall. I know it's hard, you know. You know it's 2020, of course. Yeah, so I'm back in the same scenario that I was an hour earlier. Uh, I really just hope when I run out there, you push the button and the lights come on. I really just hope he's just like, yeah. <laughs> and then just goes back to normal. Is that the damn fruit you've been jabbering about? Doesn't look so special to me. <sighs> yep. This is where it all started. <laughs> that day mother saved me and... left you behind. <sighs> the thing you don't know is, she tried to save you too. She kept searching and searching. Until I killed her. I have no recollection of this tale. Or this place. It's all an illusion. Created. By this extraordinary fruit. Its power, you see. Is all I ever wanted. And with this. No. I will have everything! No, brother. You don't have everything. That last shred of humanity that you still had? <laughs> you just lost it. That is nothing but the pitiful cries of those without strength. Come to me, brother. I shall enlighten you. So there you have 2022 all wrapped up in a tight little bow. It's been a big year since we transitioned from the PS4 to the PS5, a company with PC and mobile gaming, which will continue on in the future. We had many returning series this year and some new series on top of it that debuted on the channel and made one heck of an impact. Returning series such as Red Dead Redemption, which featured a newcomer to the channel in Official McFlurry, who you'll be seeing later on in the showcase and in future series as well. We have PC footage from Age of Empires 3, two games that I grew up on and still love to this day. A new series that came along this year and that was announced in the last year's showcase, which was Rainbow Six Extraction, which made a big impact on PS5 and on the channel this year. Well, of course, we had the returning series that is the most scariest video game to ever exist on any gaming network at any gaming console in Outlast. I'm happy to announce as well that Outlast will continue on with Outlast Whistleblower, Outlast 2, and the Trials of Outlast, all on PS5. We had some incredible photorealistic footage of WWE 2K22 all shot on the PS5 and of course we had created superstars that you also got to see in that recap with Tyler White winning the tag team championships with someone else's character that I downloaded so we could play together as real black. Of course we had other new series that weren't supposed to debut on the channel this year in Stray which is an indie game which are based in the world of a cat which was just awesome and a very humbling and very warm, cosy type of game. 
We had the reboot of Saints Row, which you didn't get to see much of this year, but you'll get to see it a lot more in the future. And of course, another anticipated game that a lot of people wanted to see and was mostly commented on in a lot of polls was Dying Light. I'm happy to announce that Dying Light will be moving into multiplayer the next year, multiplayer series, and you'll be seeing that as well later on in the showcase. And we capped it off with footage from episode 17 of Devil May Cry 5. But of course we also have the channel's lead production with Hitman 3. You also got Hitman Absolution and Hitman Blood Money. Alongside Hitman 3, the Hitman World Assassination Trilogy Story Series, Hitman Escalation Contract Series, Hitman 3 Elusive Targets, Hitman 3 Elusive Target Arcade, and on top of that, next year, starting with Hitman Freelancer Contracts coming as well. I want to thank each and every one of you as we transition from the PS4 to the PS5 with your patience and with you returning to the channel each and every time that something got posted. It's been a trying year and I hope I wish all of you a safe and a very Merry Christmas from myself Frosty Boy 100 aka Aussie 009 and here's a special look at what's coming next on the channel in 2023. Is that all you can say? Like, is there like a little, is there like a little cassette player that's going around in your head? Hmm. Time for some interrogation. Interrogation and some flash therapy. I can hit him over the head with a frying pan. You won't find better stuff anywhere else. Thank you for your extended. Oh, no, no, back up, back up. It'll do damage. It'll start on fire here in a minute. I'm also happy to announce this next bit. I know for the longest of time there's been people waiting to get their hands on some sort of merchandise, whether that be a baseball cap, snapback cap, a drawstring bag, a pair of shorts, or even a coffee mug, or just a plain old good old t-shirt. And yes, I notice you notice the new merch, and you don't have to wait too much longer. I'm happy to announce that right after the showcase, you will be able to get your hands on this particular t-shirt. Thanks to a world that I'm a part of called Second Life, my merch will now start dropping tonight. Thanks to a company called Nephilim Boy Designs and now producing Frosty Boy 100 merch. Again, thank you very much for the whole year. And I wish you all a happy and safe Merry Christmas 2022. And I will see you in 2023. Game over. Son of who? Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the first. Do, do, 
do 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 <laughs> You can tell that I'm having fun. Dante! Don't shoot me! My name is Kat, I'm not a demon! I'm still in the real world, you're in limbo. How come I can see you clearly? You, but I'm not actually in limbo with you. If I pull Today, um, so I'm not really, I probably won't be streaming this afternoon because I've decided to, you know, not to stream, but, but, I got something better. Oh my god, there's one there. It's a little more, oh my god. Come here, come on, take a picture. Come on. What I mean by that, you guys. Everybody can get it. I'm just trying to get away because he doesn't like Captain obviously. But, and to him, or to her, depending on what, depending on what the, uh. Oh, aren't you just the cutest? What he does. I find it really rare that I get to find these little guys because there's such a to San Francisco, a new map. And I say probably, but extraction is really a fun game. into a situation where that Mr. Stiletto legs, not Mr. Stiletto legs moving around, which is nice.
Yeah, let's save here, why not? You know, let's just save in the sewer. Him again. No! No, 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 no. By the way, doing that is actually a good way to clear a lot of the enemies out sometimes.
And technically, because he didn't witness anything, he doesn't really need to get put away, but I'm going to put him away anyway. Going to put him back up in the closet. Mr. Security Guard. Not today. 